Can you show the compost toilet to the... No, I'm not shit. <laughs> no, come on. We, we planted, I think, four or five bananas. Uh, this is one, two, three, four. When they start to get babies, then we made a banana circle. So the family stays uh, together. They have grown much more better, much, much better when, when there's a family. They, they care for each other. Um, this is another family. <laughs> They also have friends, they have plants they don't like, they have the same behaving like, like we have, this, all the life has the same behaving. And <clears throat> the banana circle is therefore that, th this is the, the, the food pot. There's water, there's more moisture, there's all the food, we, we put green matter, brown matter inside from cutting, I can put it here. When banana too too much populate, we plant them around in the ring or make a start a new one. And they're doing good. Yeah. This becomes the area of the ducks and chickens year round. And here I build a pond for the ducks. That's what I'm doing at the moment. This will be the high of, of uh, that I can empty the pond. I can take the water and bring it to the plant, fertilize the plants. Yeah. Or I can attach a, a flexible tube to the banana circles oh, right. and let the water run there. Yeah, uh, it's just rainwater. <coughs> I have a connection for water over there. The pond start here, get a high limb like, like this. And from this side we, ha we have access to the water. And here's yeah. a fence around to the, to the corner of the house goes along the tree. Here's our entrance. Yeah. Here comes a little terrace in front of the pond. I don't know uh -huh. if I'll make it flat or I think a bit up maybe. Uh -huh. With some stepping stones that we can go there and maybe have something to clean. Um, <clears throat> this actually is an old termite mountain. <laughs> From the time of the jungle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 25 years ago, this was untouched jungle here. Yeah. Yeah. About 15 years ago, uh, 25 years ago, they started to take wood out of the of the jungle. Yeah. And about 15 years ago, they started to make agriculture and farms. Yeah. So there's still a lot of potential in the soil. I let everything grow. Yeah. And look what's coming, and it's wonderful. Yes. <clears throat> but this is an old termite hill out of this time when it was a jungle. <laughs> it's the most fertile soil. <laughs> the termites are the best soil workers. Nice. They bring constantly green matter inside, brown matter inside, <clears throat> make uh, holes for air, for water. Yeah. They're soil workers, yeah. soil maker, yeah. uh, soil builder, uh, the best one. Wow. So I didn't want to put the, uh, a concrete pond on this top, uh, top quality soil. I take the soil away and fill it with other deeper soil with stones. Yeah. <coughs> it's more solid. And I have the good soil here now. Mm. Yeah, just behind you, I've planted, uh, we planted tulsi. Holy basil, yeah. Uh, we made a lot of uh, seeds in one place. And Good. <coughs> the two things I planted first mm. was moringa mm. and tulsi was here already wild growing. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Tulsi was uh, wild growing here, that's why I know I could buy the place, take care of this. This is the plant I'm most interested in. It's good for more than 300 different diseases. It's called the one for all. And then I planted Moringa, which is the most nutritional plant. It has nearly everything what we need. We could eat only Moringa for eight years Whoa. before we have a deficiency, a wow. deficiency. Yeah. This is a superfood. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's has a super food popular. It's, it's popular in right. Europe. So I have the nutrition I need, I have the medicine I need with two plants. Everything else is lux luxury yeah? for taste. Or, <laughs> but that's all you need. <laughs> Pretty much. It's a food security and it's a medicine. Do you have Moringa here? Yeah, we can go there. Sometimes I take some seeds with me. In a, this is from the butterfly like tea. I just put them somewhere. <laughs> this is a field where we put biochar inside, about 20%. Um, we, we plowed it 30 centimeters deep. Deep, like 20 percent is biochar mixed inside and then we what biochar 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 do you what you told me huh? what you told me what i told you Co um, with carbon carbon or charcoal mixed with uh, manual can be from the cow from the chicken or from the ducks or from the human i have a compost toilet i, I make also there yeah <coughs> and uh, extra enhanced microorganisms um, I put, I used EM1 and <coughs> molasses for the microorganism, but they have some sugar to eat until the trees, uh, until they get it from the trees. Uh -huh. And then you leave it on water and you leave it covered like two weeks and it, the charcoal is charged with it. And with nutrition microorganism, then you can plow it in the soil. Yeah, okay. And then we wanted to plant vegetables here, but it was too hot, too hot, too too much direct sunlight. Yeah, too strong for the vegetables. Yeah. So this so is moringa. Then I planted moringa. It's also a vegetable. Yeah. The the small the or trees here. these trees. This tree, yeah. okay. Can we go inside? Come also. Okay. <coughs> this hangs here a bit in the way. Things like this I harvest yeah, for uh -huh. eat. Yeah. The first thing what is in my way. This I this is the first harvest I make. When I need more, then it goes bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if not, it stays. It's my my way. Is, is yeah. Thing. Like this, I I will. This we can harvest and eat. We just mm -hmm. snap the leaves down. And then can eat. Sorry. Um, Utopia, Utopia could be. Yeah. I walk on my land and I eat with every step. I can eat something different. When I come back, I don't need a kitchen. Yes. I, <laughs> I don't need to wash up or yeah, yeah. anything. Just walking around and this is the pick. <laughs> well, here we planted the, the marigold next to the mm -hmm. papaya tree because it kills the nematodes that um, the root nematodes which uh, attack the, the papaya tree yeah right and it's nice to see and if it's yellow one you can eat next put salad okay guava mm -hmm. ah, the leaves are good for diabetes Make a tea with it. Um, we can come closer and you can see the bark of the tree. This is used as a good medicine, and I forgot to get against what I think fever or diarrhea or something like I, I forgot. <laughs> but you, but it, it's very known and used medicine here. Yeah. yeah. You grow pineapples here, yeah? Oh, yeah. Actually, it's uh, my worker. <laughs> I, I don't know everything anymore. Um, I don't speak Khmer and he doesn't speak English. Oh, but he does something all day. Huh? But he does He's something. Doing something all day. <coughs> sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not how I would do it. <laughs> for permaculture, it's a conventional 
organic mare farming. Yeah, yeah. yeah but um, that's a bit also destructive sometimes. Yeah, so, yeah. But we learn together. <laughs> well, he knows something about medicinal plants too. Okay. He knows some, a lot of things I don't know. Okay. And we have a good, good together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, gladiator grass. What? Uh, you make these things out of the grass? Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, right. I can see it here on the roof. Yeah, yeah. This is a very invasive plant, but um, I know one she wants to, to have some land and just let the grass grow and make these mats for the roof. She says she's fine, she likes to do that. Yeah. Don't need to grow anything else. It just goes along. <laughs> and you don't have to f to look you after have it. The material you need. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's less and less people uh, leave the grass. Mm. They cut it away, make monocultures of mangoes, what they spray with chemicals and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And the price of the grass already went higher. Yeah. And it's more difficult to find it. Mm. And it's something that easily could could be wiped out the sandy graft if nobody's doing it. We know this from the Western world how many things just disappeared and the next generation has no idea how to do it. So we keep this alive. <coughs> yeah. A free roof as well. This is this is a sustainable way of living. You have your material growing with you. Yeah. You like to see the, the place the house from the cow. Yeah. Yeah. With, yeah, the, with the smell. Yes. Yeah. You smell anything? Here, not. No. Anything. You see, there's fresh shit. <laughs> Clean cows. This half is now made new. I've harvested the soil, the the, the floor. What I filled up with five centimeter of charcoal before. Yeah. I just harvested it. Here's some rest of it lying. <coughs> and I put uh, new charcoal on top, about five centimeters. And I need some more charcoal to make here the rest of the floor, and harvest the rest, and, and fill it new. Mm -hmm. And in about six months, I have an, another load of activated biochar, well made by the cows. <laughs> There's no flies here. There's no? no stink. No flies? No flies. You see on the shit some flies? No. Wow. Yeah. Go somewhere else to the cow shit, it's full with flies and stinks terrible. Yeah. And creates diseases. Yeah. This is the way to do it. This is about 30 centimeters on the base. It's filled with gravel. Okay. Uh, first, I make it's like a bath tube. It's a plastic lining around. Okay. So then, on the, on the ground, there's it about 30 centimeters of gravel. With the plastic tube goes like three arms inside with holes inside. We can fill water inside there. Okay. And then this is the, the, the gravel bed is filled with water. It has an overflow over there. You see the little tube okay. And then comes uh, something for separated a bit, like uh, can be cloth. Like, like a bed sheet or something like this, and then comes maximum of 30 centimeter soil on top. Higher, you can grow the water. Okay. So the plants make deeper roots. You don't need the water every time. You fill it up like once a month, or once every 14 days, depends how much sun it gets. And when you, when you water on the top, then a lot of water vaporizes in the daytime in the air, it's gone, and the roots stay shallow. Like okay. this, they make deeper roots, as deep as they want, to stand in the water. Mm. It saves a lot of work and time. You have yeah. in the beginning a bit of work, but then okay, yeah. you can relax. Can you show the compost toilet to the... No, I'm not shit. Huh? <laughs> no, come on! And then make a nice wooden seat in here, bench. Here you shit inside. You don't smell anything. Yeah. And then I mix the soil and put it here to the soil mix for the foot on top. Yeah. It's mixed the soil with carbon 
Okay. And like this, it mix it with the menu from from humans, or you can put also a kitchen or a scrap inside or whatever, and you generate your biochar. Mm -hmm. The the soils here carbon depleted. Yeah. That's one yeah. something they really need. In the dry season, they get hard like rock. Mm. In the rainy season, it's slimy. Mm. Things swimming away. With the carbon, the microorganism has a home, and the nutrition, the nutrients, they can work the whole year. The plants make the root to the carbon, inside the carbon, and, and get there their food. Mm. And the soil gets better and better with every year. Conventional organic farming, without it, they have to bring all nutrition and microorganisms every mm. year. Every year, to start from zero. Mm -hmm. okay. Then this is full, we switch to here. Mm -hmm. When this is full, we switch back to mm -hmm. here. We have like every six months, we have a good big meter of, of um, good biochar. Mm. Wonderful stuff. And this is for the smell? Um, these are made as uh, ventilation. Yeah. yeah. But I think it was not even needed. Mm -hmm. Here in the tropics, it's a bit different than in Europe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In Europe, you have to leave it three years before you can use it. Yeah. Here, it's about six months. Oh, <coughs> It takes about six months to fill it, six months to stay. Okay. You can take it out. Then the other one is full and stay six months. Uh, okay. Until the next one. And this is this is really good soil. Okay. That's different. Yeah. Form it. And it stays fine. Yeah, yeah, in the moment we shit inside, I think it's full like that now. But that, are there worms processing oh, the yeah. things or <coughs> just bacteria? Like soldier flies go inside. One time I opened it, it was like an ocean with waves, mm. <laughs> everything moving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> when they small, when they go down to the water, they become like a big compound, you know? Like they more soft in the water. Ah, okay. And, and then, then the fish eat it. Yeah, now the fish can eat. But now, like this, too, too prey. Yeah. Too prey, they cannot eat. Yeah. It's good for fish, for for it pigs, works. for dog. For cow. But for the cow, we can cut, 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 cut with the grass. Yeah. And for the pig also, the leaf and the food. And make it the, my, the pig in my mom's house. My mom picked cup like this and put for the pig and she eat. Yeah. When I uh, young, I go to learn about how to make a farm also. They teach about the tree and morning glory. Mm, but morning. they say the special one, the tree. And they live very good for the, to the earth also. They make the earth more stuff and make com more compost. Yeah. And that, like can I eat also this one? Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. You can eat this one here. Yeah. When they cut for sale, they cut like this. Mm. I like to eat with the noodle. Normally they like this one eat raw. Yeah, it's delicious. And healthy, you say, against hmm? against worms. Clean the worm, the worm inside. If you have worm. Yeah. I don't have worm, I think. Huh. <laughs> you, you don't know. <laughs>